Hello, I'm Carlos Huerta, Executive Director of US Max Fusion, and I will be facilitating this course um, over this week. Uh, the course is called Empowering Students and Internationalizing Classrooms Through STEMP. STEMP is a teaching method that has been successfully piloted by uh, US Max Fusion, at both uh, public and private universities or higher education institutions. and uh, we want you to be able to learn about it and learn how to pilot it and implement it in your uh, institution. So um, we're going to be here in this uh, virtual room from uh, April, to, uh, April 25th to the 29th uh, as part of US Max Fusion's Online Professional Development Month. So the agenda for the for this course is first of all I'm I'm going to tell you what uh, the objective of the course is I'm going to tell you about the elements of of the course and then we're going to go deep on uh, the system per se and then I'm going to tell you what a stamp is more information about a stamp in terms of uh, the different elements that it has quotes that I like to um, ponder uh, whenever we talk about teaching, responsibilities of the student and the instructor, and then we're going to wrap it up as, and then uh, I'm going to explain what's going to come next after you finish watching this video. So basically um, at the end of this one week course, you should be able to already know how a STEM works and also you should be able to know how to implement it and pilot it in, uh, I'm not gonna say all your classes at your institution, but maybe two or three or four classes and um, see um, and document how successful the method is. And um, and we hope that it is as successful as it has been with our pilot programs. Now the course elements, um, first of all, you're gonna watch this video uh, when the video finishes, you're going to go to the forum section and you're going to do the introductions, um, the introduction uh, forum, where you're going to share with us your name, where you're from, uh, the name of your institution, what your position is, and any other information that you think uh, would be relevant for uh, us to know. And any interest, um, you can even say what are your uh, expectations for the course and how what you're going to learn in the course, how, how, how you want to apply it at your institution. And then you're also, um, not today, but starting tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, you're going to access the question and answer forum. And this is the forum that is going to be active, let's call it like that, from uh, tomorrow, Tuesday through Thursday. Now, this forum basically is going to be open so that you um, access it and ask as many questions as you have so that uh, at the end of the week you know um, everything about the system, uh, everything about the method and also how to implement it and pilot it at your institution. Uh, you're going to be interacting with me through the forums and but I also want you to interact with the other participants that are part of the course. And then on Friday, there's going to be a forum that where we all are going to post a conclusion. Finally, you're going to do a survey. You're going to take a survey on, um, on this course in order to improve it. You know, there's always room for improvement. Okay, US Max Fusion is a nonprofit organization and that focuses on assisting higher education institutions to develop globally competent graduates and um, we um, work on the on the under the umbrella term of uh, uh, institutional comprehensive internationalization which is a, a deep international and intercultural uh, dimension that is infused um, into the different substantive functions of a higher education institution. Okay, let's uh, talk about why uh, we created STEMP. Um, 
you know, I've uh, had uh, probably, I want to say almost 20 years of teaching experience. And whenever I would walk up and down um, a campus and by classrooms, I would see, uh, I would take a peek at um, classrooms and I would see uh, through the windows that the students are bored, distracted, not engaged. There is even lack of discipline. And even this is pretty much um, the reality of, of uh, not only uh, higher education institutions, but um, other levels. So we thought there's got to be a way to change the power structure in the classroom so that we give students the power or sit in the driver's seat and take um, the reins of what the course uh, is and where the course is going. And we also thought about the importance of incorporating an international and an intercultural component into the course because, and you know, this is regardless of the topic that is taught. And this is important as part of our internationalization efforts um, as part of what we do with US Max Fusion. Now, um, there is a change, a paradigm change, because basically what we want to, is that the instructor is not anymore in front of the class. We let students run the show. Empowerment of the students is a key. So empowerment of the students is very important, is a key component. And how are we going to empower them? By letting them run the show, by letting them uh, be, letting them learn and letting them do. Uh, formative assessment, you know, uh, this is the probably the most important thing that the instructor does. Um, and in order for the instructor to do formative assessment, um, time, having the time to do this formative assessment is key. So instead of the teacher being in front of the class, what he's going to do is be, he or she's going to do is going to be at the back of the classroom doing formative assessment. I said, we're going to let the students learn. We're going to let the students be themselves and we are going to let the students do. Sometimes when teachers are in front of the class and, or, uh, you know, even probably a little worse, lectures, um, pretty much all the power is uh, held by the person that is in front of everybody. And what about others? What about letting them learn from themselves? What about letting them be themselves? What about letting them do, also participate as part of the activities and letting them run the show. Um, so we got to take the instructor, put it, put the instructor to do other important, probably more important things than teaching. And I will get back to, to this idea uh, a little bit later, um, which is the formative assessment part. And let the students, as you can see on the picture, run the class. So then the teacher becomes a guide, a planning, and a planner and an evaluator. The teacher guides the course. Um, the teacher plans the entire course ahead of time. Before the beginning of the classes, before the beginning of the course, the teacher already has planned every single class, every single activity, every single um, thing that is going to be happening on every single day of class. Um, then the teacher focuses on providing students that, that feedback that is part of formative assessment that is going to help them learn. See, assessment um, has to help students learn. Assessment is not a grade. Assessment is not a letter, a number. Uh, assessment is not a very good or not good. 
assessment is an activity that has to help students learn. So whatever you do that you evaluate or assess has to help students learn. So in this uh, method, a student becomes the, prota become the protagonist. Students in teams facilitate classes, prepare materials, monitor learning in the classroom, in the lab, outside of the classroom, whatever you want them to do it. The students create and perform scenarios. We believe in uh, the benefits of drama. Uh, we, we believe in um, acting out real life scenarios uh, where students are applying the knowledge and the skills competencies that they have developed um, not only as part of the course but that they have developed as throughout their lives the students become linking agents now students uh, bring to class international or intercultural speakers that are going to give whatever topic is being seen an international or an intercultural um, focus. Let's say if a class is about uh, strategic planning, then a teacher has to, uh, students have to bring a um, speaker from the community that is going to talk about a strategic planning but with an international or an intercultural uh, focus. Main components, so far you have seen that uh, there is class facilitation led by students, scenarios created and performed by students, guest speakers identify and invited by, by students and, and portfolios. Now, uh, it is very important that students document every single thing that happens as part of the course in a portfolio that can be paper uh, or an electronic portfolio. So basically, we um, would like to offer a caveat before um, you implement the method. We have piloted the method um, simultaneously uh, in over 20 courses with uh, in private and public higher education institutions and we have uh, realized that um, implementing the, the method with its four main components the ones we saw in the previous slide can represent a big challenge for both the teacher and the students so um, you don't have to incorporate the four the four elements uh, you can incorporate one or two or three or, or the four of them if you would like or or incorporate them uh, gradually as needed okay let's now focus on each of the elements a little bit in, in depth class facilitation led by students as you can see here you're not going to see the teacher in any of the pictures because the teacher at any given time is focusing on uh, doing formative assessment based on rubrics, based on um, information, or pretty much creating, generating that information, that feedback that is going to help the students learn better. So class, facil class facilitation is, uh, um, you know, all the topics that are to be taught during the course are taught by the students in teams, um, students uh, for every time they facilitate a topic or topics uh, they have to do it in a 50 in a 50 minute chunk of time um, and we recommend that every week there are two uh, presentations led by students and uh, every time students present there is three uh, portions to a presentation the presentation an interactive activity that students are going to uh, do with uh, their classmates to reinforce whatever topic is being taught as well as a printed activity 
all of these things whatever can go to the portfolio has to go to the portfolio every single thing has to be documented scenarios created and performed by students uh, teams in in teams of three um, students perform uh, scenarios every three weeks one scenario every three weeks using the knowledge uh, the skills and competencies developed over that period of time um, three uh, to four minutes scenarios and um, that is the uh, the part that has to do with the scenarios. now guest speakers uh, identify uninvited by students speakers from the community they have to bring an intercultural or an international dimension to whatever is being taught. Uh, students are going to prepare a panel where they are going to interact with the guest speaker, a four minute panel, that's what we suggest. And we suggest that uh, students uh, bring one speaker every two weeks. Portfolios designed and compiled by students, and like I said, it could be a uh, paper-based or electronically an electronic portfolio, whatever it is easier for your students. These portfolios are going to be done individually, not in teams. Every person is going to have its own portfolio, his or her own portfolio, sorry. Uh, and um, every month, the instructor or peers assess the content of that portfolio now i'm going to give you an example of how this looks uh, in a calendar let's assume that this is the first month of the course and we have class facilitations uh, in um, the the red dots scenarios the green dots guest speakers the blue dots and student portfolios the yellow dots so as you can see, class, faci class facilitation starting week two, look at week two, every week there are two sessions where students facilitate topics. Scenarios every three weeks, one scenario, all the students on that day or two days, it could take two days, are going to perform um, and scenario um, in groups of three um, applying the knowledge skills and competencies that they developed over the past three weeks uh, then the student portfolios every month uh, there is um, an assessment a partial assessment of the portfolios we're going to make sure students are keeping those portfolios updated well the guest speakers come every two weeks every two weeks there is a guest speaker in the classroom there is this panel that has a guest speaker where they focus on a topic that is that has been taught uh, as part of the class but with the perspective either international or intercultural now um, the if you look at week number one here in this calendar um, you're gonna see that uh, first of all we have student portfolios on Tuesday Wednesday class facilitation Thursday scenarios and Friday guest speakers now this week this first week it is the teachers responsibility so the teacher has to show an example of a student portfolio the teacher has to facilitate a class with the three components uh, remember the presentation the interactive activity and the printed activity on Thursday the teacher is going to explain what a scenario is and even show students examples of the scenarios on Friday the teacher is going to bring a an international or an intercultural speaker and it's going to have a panel uh, and it's going to show students how um, they are expected to do this 
every single activity the teacher has to show them how to do um, in the very first week now there is there has to be a strict enforce, enforcement of, of these things uh, 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 discipline and respect coherence time management and deadlines have to be enforced uh, what, we may, what we mean by coherence is whatever you say you have to you have to do as a teacher or as, a, or as an instructor stand your ground and no favorite students now without these five conditions um, stamp might not be successfully implemented so we have to be strict and if you consider yourself a complacent or externalized teacher or if you think you have some teachers that are too complacent or very nice we do not recommend to stamp for your classes if you want to see results you also want to have the kind of teacher that is strict that abides by the rules and that is committed to the method now instructors interested in piloting a stamp in their classes are encouraged to work in pairs or groups of three never let one teacher just pilot it now quotes for reflection when you're going to have students be in charge of the class you have to tell them this teach the way you have always wanted your teachers to teach you students sorry already know what works students know already know what kind of classes and what kind of teachers they have learned more out of and they know the better practices and they have the creativity to improve those practices so you got you have to let them be as creative and as innovative as possible so that they really teach their classes the way they have always wanted the te their teachers that sometimes are very traditional traditional to teach them now you have to also tell your students every time you prepare something for your classmates ask yourself does my class or whatever i prepare for my classmates stimulate the mind the emotions and movement if the answer is no tell your students your class or whatever you facilitate is very likely that it will be forgotten and tell them to wake up their creativity innovation and talents okay students responsibilities you already know um, what they are expected to do um, teacher responsibilities I'm just gonna read them quickly before the first day of class meet with two or three instructors who wish to pilot a stamp in their classes discuss the method and clarify doubts create a calendar plan every day class of the course prepare rubrics for presentation scenarios guest speakers um, we have rubrics that uh, already have uh, we have successfully used and I'm gonna put them in the uh, folder um, that is called material so you will be able to have access to those and use them freely in your classes create the class syllabus and create the materials to facilitate the class uh, for that first week to set the tone for student presentation expectations so these are some of the rubrics uh, one for class facilitation the rubric for a scenario when they read the script when they perform the scenario the when uh, they bring the international or intercultural um, uh, guest speaker and um, like I said you'll be able to find this in in the folder um, with the materials uh, teacher responsibilities uh, week one facilitate a class with the three components invite a host explain the components of the scenario and perform one or show them how uh, a scenario looks like and for, uh, form the presentation scenario and guest speaker groups 
Week 2 forward, carry out daily formative assessment, facilitate and reinforce topics, check homework, enforce punctuality and attendance. Every three to four weeks, observe a class of at least one teacher that is also piloting STEM. Meet with other teachers piloting STEM to share best practices, discuss challenges, and work together on improvement. Um, and so these are this more information about the teacher responsibilities. It is um, ad advised that also the teacher does an assessment assessment of the course, um, a midterm SWOT evaluation and a final SWOT evaluation. I'm gonna also uh, upload it to the uh, materials uh, folder. And at the, and the end of the term, uh, you should meet with, teachers should meet with other teachers piloting a stamp and draw, con, draw, con, draw conclusions and prepare for a follow-up course. Okay, so empower your students with the STEM, give them challenges. STEMP is um, for teachers to get them to realize that students when when students are given the power the results sometimes are even better than when the teacher holds the power so empower them let them be creative let them run the class and you will uh, we assure you not be disappointed now it is not that easy but it is not impossible so what is next i have a minute just to explain what is next um, so the forums today please go to the introductions forum and follow the instructions starting tomorrow Tuesday on, through Thursday the Q&A forum and then on Friday the conclusions forum thank you very much and um, if you do all the activities uh, also go to the um, uh, the folder that has information about the course and you will see what the expectations for the course are more in detail basically you just have to participate in the forums and uh, actively and uh, if you do so you will be uh, given your certificate of participation Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the course and uh, I will see you in the forums. Bye-bye.